Ezra has just made a new drum last night out of uh, a package of drink mix. And uh, he's strung a rubber band across it and uh, he's not only been playing it uh, as is, but he's tuning the rubber band to, you know, make pitches and such. But that's just the most recent of many. Uh, during the recent Thanksgiving, uh, Ezra, <laughs> Ezra asked about our can situation. And as it turns out, uh, you know, cranberry sauce and uh, green beans and <laughs> all these things come in cans. So, Symbols. He used a, a, a pie pan and or a bread pan and the whip topping. And a couple weeks before that, he made his own drum set complete with. Um, what did you make? What does that have that other drum sets have not had thus far? What is that called? A bistro. Well, what are the yellow things you have in your hand? These are symbols. Yeah, and, wh and what gave you the idea to make the symbols? Um, your drumstick. Okay, all right. So, th this was just a couple weeks after the original, what I would call the original You Make It drum. Oh, you're going to show that one? All right, so, plastic bowl becomes a snare drum. And he tied that one on so he can walk around and play that. And he reinforced the head, which was plastic wrap. He reinforced the head with uh, tape, which is a good idea. But Ezra, I want to, I want, I just want to pay tribute to your first creation. Do you remember uh, on your right there, the, the first one you created? Will you hold that up and explain it to us? It's a zap. So it's a, uh, it's a craft stick xylophone, and uh, what did he wrote on the, the, the... C, D, E, F, which is half of the music language. So this is just from, I would say the xylophone was about two months ago, but everything else you see here <laughs> was created. Uh, during and well, no, this one wasn't either. Uh, that's that's from about a month ago, 9th of November. So Thanksgiving uh, is not only delicious; it's filled with fun sounds. That's all we have for this morning. Goodbye. Goodbye.